What the heck? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you haven't noticed, I do relationship videos on Tuesdays and we are introducing a new part or a new aspect of it and it's called the relationship what the heck moment like what the heck moment so yeah i'm just going to be bringing you stories that i find from places especially twitter i might go get some on facebook or you know anywhere instagram anywhere i find the stories so i'm actually doing work here going around scavenging for stories just for me and you to think about and reason together and see who was wrong and who was right it has to be interesting like we all have to make this interesting okay so today's story and yeah this is a tangerine i'm not giving yourself today's story honestly as a woman i don't see myself ever thinking like that or i don't see myself doing something like that i have my book here so i might be looking in because i've pointed some things out in the message i'm going to be posting any moment from now okay so now this lady i the nigerians this lady took money from her boyfriend's account so this lady took money from her boyfriend's account without his permission without even saying dear i'm going to take money from your account for the boyfriend to even say no she didn't say anything at all she just went ahead and took the money okay now i'm going to post uh, the chat between them and maybe you can read it if you want but if you feel it's going to be so long a process for you i'm going to also drop the link to the original tweet in the description uh, box so you can just go straight to twitter and read it and you even get to know some of the comments that are there so let's get right into it The first thing I want to point out from this, and I want to tell my male parties and all of you guys say that, you are not obligated to take care of anyone's daughter once you are just boyfriend and girlfriend, period. And dear girlfriends, your boyfriends are not your husbands, they are not your dads. Let me ask you a question. Even your dad, that it's his responsibility to take care of you can you just go take his card and just go and take money from his account without his permission it doesn't happen so why are you going to be someone's son just because he is your boyfriend like come on and the part of the message that really baffles me is i just think it's in dark anyways the part of the message that really baffles me is she is like she is not going to spend her money on herself like why should she spend her money on herself please let me ask you why then are you working no why do we work why do we work we work so we will be independent <laughs> so <laughs> why would you say there is no way you're going to spend your money on then stop working and be someone who is solely dependent on another person who you are not even legally binded or bonded to. Do you get my point? She also goes like, other boyfriends give, the word is give, other boyfriends give their girlfriends their cards to use as they please. They give, right? So they do it willingly. It's something they want to do, that's why they do it. But dude, you did not even ask your boyfriend to give you his card you just went ahead and then took the money without his concern so where is the giving here right if you read the thing the guy a point goes like he is not her husband so she shouldn't respect her boundaries all right and she goes like well there's no boundaries when i'm opening my legs for you that's when they're having sex and then the guy goes like but the sex is consensual and it is true i don't know why some women think that when yeah, you, your friend is saying like, during sex it's only the guy that enjoys but the woman doesn't enjoy i don't know why some women think like that and then they use it to trap i don't know they used to do something i i i really don't know how some women think honestly speaking i really don't know why or how 
why they think like how they think and i'm going to do a video talking about premarital sex and why i think we joke with it so much no i'm not going to talk about bible stuff so stay tuned and then be expecting that video from me because i really have a lot to say about that okay so she also goes like she's like see the part where she said if if he doesn't um if he, if he doesn't spend on her right now, like if he doesn't give her his cash to spend as she pleases right now, like how is she going to know she's going to be a good, he's going to be a good husband? Hey boy. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think I'm a different kind of breed of woman because just thinking like, it's like a guy telling a girl that if you don't come to my house and cook and sweep and do all those things how am i going to know you're a good wife you're going to be a good wife you're going to be a good wife let me tell you something a guy can spend on you so much a guy can spend on you so much a girl can do all those things for you but the key thing that you should look out for when it comes to marriage is attitude they can spend on you so much get married to you still spend on you in the marriage and then still mistreat you or maltreat you emotionally traumatize you attitude zero boom nothing so i don't know why you would use that to try to determine if your boyfriend is going to be a good husband or not like why are you setting yourself up for distraction like honestly speaking i and she was like if another guy shoots the right shot i am gone what does that tell you then she's definitely in for just Okay, I can't say she's in for just money because everybody has their, you know, standards for relationship or why they accept someone. Maybe she wants someone who is already financially comfortable, blah, 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 blah. And this is where she goes absolutely wrong, where she goes like, so relationship is basically about making the woman happy and comfortable. It's like the woman should be happy enough to be able to say yes to your proposal in the first place relationship is not about you the woman it's about the two of you and when you're just boyfriend and girlfriend you two are still getting to know so much if you really want to spend your life with this kind of person do you understand me so the relationship is not about you the woman come on it takes two no it takes one so then the guy goes like i then he's also going to um take her money without her permission right and she goes like no that is where it becomes stealing <laughs> that is where it becomes stealing and she would have to grant him permission before he can take her money because according to her his money is her money too. but her money is not his money I said, me if I if I came a guy, I think I'll be so wicked. Honestly, <laughs> not wicked. I think I'll be me because like I'll just say I don't know, but jeez, I. <laughs> she ends it by saying, she ends it by saying that, like I said, that they are, they are Nigerians. So she ends it by saying that every Nigerian woman or lady. Well, agree with her and according to her she's just been spilling fat since i'm not nigerian i am 100 percent Ghanaian, and i don't agree but if you're a nigerian lady and you happen to come across this video and you get to this point please let me know in the comment section if you agree with her or not because i totally don't agree with her first your boyfriend is not obligated to take care of you and you work so you become independent you see some of these things let me put, some of these things women do then they get married and then the, their boyfriend or their boyfriends and their husbands force them to be housewives because of the kind of things you said already i mean if you are working but you still don't want to be independent you still want to be super dependent on me then why should you even work in the first place if you are still expecting everything about you from from here to this 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 like you can't you you've made up your mind not to use anything not to use your money to do anything for yourself then why are you working 
that is where you give your husband, your boyfriend now husband, the kind of right or entitlement, like how you feel entitled to his money. He's also in, he also feels like he has the power to tell you to be a housewife because of some of the things you already said when you guys were just boyfriend girlfriend. So after plenty, I'm tired. I need to go and enjoy my tangerine. So I'm going to stop right here and let me know in the comment section what you really think about this. Okay? I really, really, really want to know what you think about this. So I will see y'all later. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like. Please hit that subscribe button. Like the video and share and do leave a comment.